What's up watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, welcome back to the Marvelous Wave and today we continue our coverage on Spider-Man No Way Home, post release of course, and discuss comments made by the writer that suggest an alternate ending for Tobey Maguire's character, as well as again discussing more about the secret sixth hidden villain of the Sinister Six that was originally slated to make his appearance in the final act of the movie. First though, on the 14th we'll be announcing two winners of the giveaway, with an Iron Spider as well as a normal Spider-Man figurine given away. To enter to win, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and follow the rest of the very basic rules in the description down below. Now my friends, without further ado, let's get into it. The ending of Spider-Man No Way Home involved Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man stopping Tom Holland's Spider-Man from dealing the killing blow to the Green Goblin, the Green Goblin who obviously earlier in the film was responsible for the death of May, and someone that Tom Holland's Spider-Man wants to enact vengeance against. It's ultimately Tobey Maguire's role to teach him a lesson that he himself learned all the way back in 2002. That being that vengeance does not make him feel better and will not bring May back, and that vengeance and learning from one's loss is the thing that defines Spider-Man as a character and as a hero. Both Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire attempt to impart this wisdom on Tom Holland's Spider-Man, however he doesn't listen, at which point Tobey Maguire directly steps in and spares Tom Holland's Spider-Man of the suffering that he and Garfield previously experienced. In this moment though, we're shocked to realize that the Green Goblin actually does stab Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man after Tobey stops Tom from killing him, leading to audible gasps in every single viewing that I've seen the movie. In the original film, it's revealed that Tobey Maguire just basically manages to shake off the stab wound only being lightly injured, with him telling Andrew Garfield that he's been stabbed before. This however was not going to be the original ending, as according to the writers of Spider-Man No Way Home, the secret member of the Sinister Six was actually going to be the individual to save Tobey's Spider-Man. The character we're talking about is of course Venom. Venom was apparently going to switch allegiances during the final battle helping out the three Spider-Men as well as Doctor Strange, once he discovered the reality of why all of the villains were pulled into the multiverse. At which point, again, just as what happened in the regular film, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man would be stabbed by the Green Goblin. However, Venom, as we've seen before, has the best healing factor of all of the villains present, meaning that the Venom symbiote was going to briefly attach itself to Tobey's Spider-Man, effectively saving him from the stab wound and allowing him to heal. This would actually be the moment that Venom would inherit the iconic spider spider symbol on his chest, a part of the design for the character of Venom that's been noticeably absent, as of course the Venom that we know from his universe has not encountered any Spider-Man yet. And this was going to be the moment where Venom was going to receive the spider symbol, hinting at the fact that Venom may have also inherited some powers from Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. In the end though, this was ultimately cut and the filmmakers believed that the final battle was getting simply too muddled, and that they needed to cut down on this, therefore removing Eddie Brock and Venom from the final act of the movie, and only having him show up in the post credit scene where he would then be subsequently returned to his home universe. Many fans were quite disappointed at the prospects that Venom did not actually encounter Spider-Man at all in Spider-Man No Way Home, especially after the post credit scene of Venom Let There Be Carnage, which directly hinted at the fact that Eddie Brock and Peter Parker were going to interact with one another. Again, this was apparently in the cards for some time, and the writers actually tossed around the idea of Venom being again the sixth member of the villains, but ultimately switching sides when he discovered the true motivations of the Goblin and the other villains involved, ultimately saving Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, not just meeting one Spider-Man, but all three. Anyway guys, I'll keep this video sort of short, but I want to hear your thoughts on this. What are your thoughts on Venom being responsible for saving Tobey, and this being the way that he would actually receive the spider symbol? Do you think that it was a bad decision to cut this from the film, or are you excited to see Venom and Peter Parker interact in some different way down the line? Again my friends, don't forget the giveaway is as it ends in just a few days. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully catch you in the next video.